All right. So so far, uh, we uh, natural deduction proofs. We've annotated annotated the trees, and now we're going to do something very non-logical. It, it is we're going to execute the annotations. So this is where we start tying in with with, with programming. So we're going to say that if you ever have pi one applied to the pair p comp uh, p comp q, uh, that will evaluate to p. And pi two of p comp q will evaluate to q. And lambda x dot q, uh, uh, if that is modus ponens applied to p, uh, that will evaluate to your expression q with all the occurrences of x in it, which were the closed hypotheses um, of type of, of x. We'll take all those x's and replace them with the entire expression of p, which also is a proof of x. Uh, and so we'll just take that, we'll take our, our tree, maybe I can try to show you. Uh, right, so here we have, uh, we're looking at the case where we're doing uh, implication introduction followed by elimination. So we have this sort of tree over here, which has deduced uh, A implies B. It looks like something like this up, up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this P of A, and we're going to move that tree and replace all these closed nodes over here, which were sort of the use of our tree before. We're just going to rip them out and put the stamp copies of this P of A everywhere, uh, and we'll get a deduction of, of B from doing that. Anyhow, this is uh, just lambda expression function evaluation. Uh, our case rule says that if we are doing case elimination on the sort of the left occurrence, uh, so we have this case expression over here. What we do is we say we're on the left case, so this is the case we care about, so the answer is p. But again, we take all of our uh, variables a and replace them with r. Here we have r as a proof of b, and so we take our q and replace all of b's with r's over here. And similarly for an elimination uh, existential, there are no computation rules for for splat, which is a proof of truth, nor for abort, which is the deduction from false. So our important property here is that reduction preserves propositions. And instead of calling them propositions, we're just going to call them types. Uh, uh, and so if we have pi 1 of p comma q has type a, then it is the case that p has to have type a. Uh, and so therefore, the reduction is type preserving. Similarly, if we have uh, lambda x colon x dot q applied to p, and that has type b, uh, then this substitution of P into the expression of Q replacing the X's will also have type B. So this reduction simplifies proof for some definition of simplifies. <laughs> uh, but it's important to note that similar proofs don't necessarily mean short proofs because of this horrible step over here where this substitution might copy your entire tree of P n times where n is the number of, of, of expression that you've closed off. So that can actually greatly increase the size of the tree. How, how do you verify that the reduction preserves propositions? Like, uh, are you introduced that as an axiom, or is that just verified by going through the rules? Um, you can do that by just inspecting the reduction rules. Okay. I'm, yes. happy with, I'm happy with that answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this. This is a more questionable point. <laughs> uh, reduction always terminates. I'm going to claim that. <laughs> uh, uh, I think for everything I've presented over here, we can we can argue that reduction always terminates. But as we proceed, it will become more of an open question, I suppose. Uh, but the goal certainly is for reduction to always terminate. Uh, and this is where we start to start running afoul of the Turing uh, completeness. Uh, uh, because uh, with, with uh, internal complete languages, you know that computation can potentially run forever because you're not unbounded search. 
Uh, and so that means that the comp even though we bring some computation here, it can't be a Turing complete language because reduction always terminates. Anyhow, sort of this, so this relationship between logic and, and functional programming is the uh, Curry-Howard isomorphism. Uh, and so uh, these, we have this sort of computational interpretation of proof objects, uh, which are proving our, our, our logical uh, theorems, right? So P, if P is a proof object of there exists X, R of X, that means it's a pair that contains a witness X uh, of X, so something of type X, and a proof uh, that that something satisfies satisfies this predicate R. And if we have a proof of for all x there exists y such as R of x, y holds for some property R, uh, then the computational interpretation of this is it's a function that maps any type term t of type x to a witness w of type y and a proof that uh, there's a relationship between the input and output that you want holds. Uh, yeah, so so when you do constructive, uh, when you so here we're using the constructive existential here. When you use constructive mathematics, we get this computational interpretation of our proofs. Uh, so now we take our uh, our our definition of reduction, which I call computation now. It's, it, what we defined before was one step reduction, and then we'll. Uh, take the reflexive symmetric transitive congruence closure of that relationship, which means that you can apply that rule on any sub-expression in any direction uh, and build a giant relationship out of that. Uh, but remember, reduction is type preserving, right? So everything that's related to each other will have the same type. Uh, this relationship is decidable, and the algorithm, although it's not necessarily the best algorithm, but a algorithm for deciding whether x and y are related by this is what you do is you just uh, run the reduction steps on x and y in this going forward on every sub-expression that you can get your hands onto until you have no more sub-expressions that you can apply the rules to. And if the results are the same, uh, then uh, x was related to y. This is, not, this is, this is a very non-obvious property, and the proof is actually beyond my means of proof. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it, this is in fact the case. Uh, 